Lisa Vitaris, thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV and uh, hosting us here in Canberra for SIA's uh, Southern Space Conference. Thanks for coming, Chris. Uh, look, day two and almost halfway through day two, uh, so we just followed lunch. Uh, really the takeaway so far, the future of space, investments in space. Uh, yesterday was looking at the militarisation and national defence aspects as well. Some audience comments on uh, how they felt after that particular session as well. How's the conference gone for you and some of the highlights? Yeah, no, really good. I, I, I think for me a highlight is definitely the Parliamentary Friends of Space event that we had last yep. night. Uh, just the growth that we had and the attendance and the excitement since last year, we've really seen that take off, which has been fantastic. Um, there were lots of comments that have been made about space being bipartisan and not it shouldn't be political, which yep. is really great to see. So I think um, the, the knowledge about space is growing, which is fantastic, which is exactly what we need, and the industry has been investing to make that happen. Uh, given the conference, and they're about to head back in, as we can hear in the background, your other significant role on behalf of the Space Industry Association is delivery of IAC 2025 in mm -hmm. Sydney. Uh, getting everyone buzzing around. Uh, the countdown is on. Most uh, definitely with, is. With uh, maybe 13 months to go. Yes, the, the time keeps <laughs> getting shorter and shorter. Look, it's very exciting. We just launched our sponsorship and exhibition prospectus last right. week. So that's available online. We will start taking bookings at Milan. So the first day of IAC 2024 in Milan on the 14th of October. Um, we've already had a lot of interest, which is fantastic. Right. So lots of people joining our calls, lots of people wanting to be a part of it and actually make the most of the opportunity, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I think we've got a lot of exciting announcements that will be made. Um, I'm hearing a lot that's in the works at the moment, a legacy so to speak. Obviously in uh, in 2017 in Adelaide we announced the launch of the Australian Space Agency yes. so we have some pretty big uh, shoes to fill to be able to make a similar scale announcement in 2025. I suppose the main thing is following Milan. Uh, you need to sort of let uh, the, the next IAC uh, occur in Italy uh, and then they'll announce Sydney uh, in terms of where your countdown is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, what, is there anything special around Milan that uh, you, you'll be doing? Uh, and I suppose there's a strong Australian contingent attending? There's a very strong Australian contingent attending. I think um, a lot of us will be run off our feet because there is so much attention on Sydney and on Australia more broadly yep. and on our country's capability and on our industry, which is great. So I think um, lots and lots of meetings. Enrico Palermo from the Australian Space Agency will be in lots and lots of bilaterals. Um, and we'll be working on our business relationships and opportunities there. Wonderful. I suppose a call to action. Uh, where can the audience find out more or what should we be looking out for next? Yeah, so look, iac2025.org is our website. So all of the information's there. We have IAC social media channels as well across a broad range of channels. You can follow us at SIA as well. We have plenty of information that is going out soon and lots of exciting announcements. Wonderful. Well, Lisa, you're the interim CEO for the Space Industry Association of Australia. Thank you again for hosting us here. We're proud uh, to be media partners, our first time as well. Uh, we'll have a playlist uh, on our interviews with your partners and presenters today. Fantastic. But thank you very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you so much for representing. Appreciate it.